Hi, I'm Captain Oak Stanford with Texas Fish Tips. It's your weekly fishing report. All right, boys and girls, there's still some good fish out here at the old Finney Docks. Weather ain't pushed to match yet. It's still pretty warm weather out there. The water's still doing pretty good, water temperature-wise. But there's redfish all up and down these docks. There's black drum. Uh, there's a few snook in there. And there's a couple of trout. If you take a shrimp and freeline him up on those rocks, right on that wall, right down through They've been doing pretty good on it. Uh, right around the corner, right down through these rocks, well, these barges usually tied up down through here, flounder coming in. I've seen some people bringing in five and six flounder a day uh, right down through here on those rocks. Not all of them big, but some of them pretty good sized. Then if you get on out here into the south jetties, anywhere where these granite starts all up down through here, there's been holding some sheeps at about 15 foot of water, split shot sometime, maybe just a little free line. If it's real heavy current, you might want to go down a half ounce or even an ounce weight. Uh, but put a shrimp down there, worm it on that hook, and throw it in there. Those sheep that are all up and in there, there's been some nice trout mixed in there along with it and a few reds. On the outside, if it's not too windy, wind coming from up north, where that uh, yellow buoy is out there, that weather marker, uh, there's been some really good fish all up and down through that area. A lot of sheep said there's been some snook. And there's still some tarpon, believe it or not, but uh, I heard a couple of them caught today out there. But anyways, that south jetty, same way. Anywhere's down through here. Problem is, there's a lot of people fishing off those jetties. Try not to get into their lines so they won't get into yours, but it works pretty good anywhere's down through here when the current's not too bad. Outside them jetties, uh, there's the same way. There's still some good fish to be had down through there. Okay, outgoing tide. These little drains right going into the lighthouse lakes right in here. You can park right here. And as that water comes out, those fish be sitting there waiting for that food to come out on them. Uh, if you got a skinny water boat, yeah, you can get up in there or even a kayak. But just get right here at the very edge. And shrimp has been working the best. You can use just about anything. Mud minnows or mullet, either one. Uh, there's little drains anywhere down through here. When that outgoing tide, those fish will be in there and they can't get out. And these drop in there, they'll they'll take your bait right there. Also, if you get over in South Bay, right down this whole area, there's been some redfish. There's still some black drum in there. And the deep water out here in this deeper water has been holding some trout. Shrimp has been catching it all. Shrimp will catch the small reds. Uh, the bigger reds, they like cut mullet or cut pin perch. And this little cut right here is holding some fish. You can get in there. Uh, get you a shallow water boat or get up there to it and then wade to it. Whichever you like to do or kayak and get in there. Real easy. Uh, I like to get out there after 8 or 10 o'clock in the morning because I don't want duck hunters blasting at me. So I'm uh, trying to let them have a leeway and then go fishing in the afternoon when the fish are seem to be biting a little bit better, better anyways. All right, good old Piper Channel. Either side of that channel has been holding some fish. Uh, right in these rocks as you come in on that west side, been holding some fish. Uh, shrimp has been the ticket, catching all the redfish, all the small ones, a few black drum mixed in there, even a few mangroves. But if you use like cut perch or cut mullet, you'll catch the bigger fish. Uh, the little ones will leave you alone. But anyhow, there's a few trout mixed in through here. And also around this bend, right here, on up down through here, has been holding some black drum. You fish a little bit, don't find them, go on, move on up a little bit. If you happen to see a muddy spot, just for some reason it's a little dirtier. There might be some school of drum right there. But anyways, you come on in. This little corner right here has been holding some black drum and reds. Uh, try not to mess up with the dock owners, but yeah, there is some good fish in there. Okay, over in island number one, number two, he's been holding some fish. Uh, they're scattered down through here around these edges. They like that cut mullet. You can use a popping cork and trip if you want to. Uh, but this little ditch right here has been holding some fish. Uh, when that water drops out, them fish will drop off in there for security and kind of rounds them up for you. There's also some little cuts right here uh, between the old tra uh, railroad tracks. And that, now the number three right here, there's a couple of little cuts right in here. Hold some fish at the end of the day. All right, over on this west bank, along the ICW right down through, has been holding some nice trout. There's some redfish up on that bank in the afternoon. They seem to like that warmer water in the afternoon. Uh, there's a few black drum, but there's lots of reds down through here. They like it cut mullet. Same thing. Now, if you're getting this deep cut going right down through these channel edges, been holding some fish. They may be trout. They may be reds. They may be flounder. Just don't tell what you're going to catch in that deeper water. Uh, but they like those edges right on down through. That shrimp is doing everything. 
catching it all. But like I said, if you use the bigger baits, you catch the bigger fish, like the mullet, mud minnows, things like that. Uh, but that shrimp catches just about everything. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.